so hi everyone today we will try to understand how you can implement deep factorization machine that is deep fm algorithm that is used for recommendation using python so basically uh, how deep fm works uh, that i already explained in a previous video if you have missed that uh, you should go back and watch it once so basically deep fm is an, a deep learning extension of factorization machine which not only includes the user item interaction but also the user and item features also while making the predictions so let's get started so first of all assume that this is the data set that we are using where we have user item the label so there is a user item interaction that is available then we have sex age occupation also that are the features from the user as you can make sense and genre 1 genre 2 genre 3 that are the features for the item so basically in algorithms like collaborative filtering or ncf we are not able to use this extra feature so this is an advantage that dpfm gives you so here you can see that we are using the user features as well as the item features in the making the predictions so for make for using deep fm we would be uh, pip installing a library called as lib recommender so lib recommender can be used for implementing most of the state of the art recommendation systems so this library you can ex uh, explore so here as you can see that i have pip installed a lib recommender library and have imported the deep fm function from it then i'm uh, reading the data set as you can notice that uh, I am trying to fill the NA values also for age, genre, genre 2, genre 3 with comma because uh, the lib recommender implementation of deep FM cannot handle NA values. So that you need to consider before moving ahead. So if your data set is any missing values, you should fill that first. The second step is like splitting a test and train data set. Now a very important step that is that we didn't follow in NCF implementation using lib recommender was that here you, you need to mention what are the user columns, what are the item columns, what are the continuous columns and what are the categorical columns. As here you can see that sparse column, six occupation, genre was genre to genre. To, this is basically categorical columns because eventually when you will be converting them into embedding uh, one hot encodings, it will lead to sparse encodings. If you remember how defectorization machine is implemented, we first of all convert all the columns into numerical embeddings. Then the dense column is age because it is a continuous variable. User columns I have mentioned sex, age, occupation, and item columns have been mentioned separately. Now here you can see that using a data set feature dot build train data set, we're passing this information in the function itself. So alongside the training data set, we are passing four information. What are the user columns, item columns, sparse columns, that is the categorical data, and dense column that is the continuous data. And then we are building train and test data set using this data set feature dot build train data set. Now, once you're done with this, we'll be calling out a deep FM function uh, and creating a baseline model using it, where we are mentioning a task equals to ranking. Embedding size is 16. So whatever embedding that we'll be generating for each of the column, that would be 16 and hidden units are 128, 64, 32. So I think the DNN section of deep FM uh, is getting represented here. Then we are fitting it over the training data set. And eventually here you can see how the training is happening. Now uh, for inference, uh, here you can see that model.predict we need to mention the user on the item IDs so that we can predict out whether the user 2211 uh, is interested in item 110. Here you can see that uh, in other way of uh, inferencing we can give just the user ID and eventually ask for 7 recommendations. We can also handle cold start in this way by passing the cold start parameter. So here you can see that how you can implement DPFM using lib recommender. One thing to remember is that when you are using lib recommender, you need to maintain the sequence and name of the first four columns as user, item, label, and time. So as you can see in our data set, user, item, label, and time. So these four columns are constant, even in the sequence also. You should not be changing the sequence as well if you are implementing using lib recommender. 